My name is Jan Graup. I'm a Danish photojournalist who've been working in war zones for the last 30 years. Uh, I'm here in Bayeux showing the, my latest work from, uh, from the liberation of Mosul. Well, uh, her mother was killed during a coalition airstrike in the beginning of the offensive towards Mosul. Uh, and due to, uh, to the situation in, in Keara, where the picture is from, uh, they were not really able to mourn because they were busy just uh, staying alive. And at the same time, Daesh was fighting uh, the Iraqi forces who, who were moving into the area. So, so once the city was liberated, this was the first time she was actually able to go to her mother's grave and, and, and mourn the death of her, her mother. Well, I, I do believe that, that uh, a lot of time photographers, if they maintain their stance, and, and, and view whatever is happening in front of them, it's, it, it makes it look like they are spectators. By actually kneeling down and being at the same level as her, uh, you get much more in contact with her. It becomes much more personal and it, it, you are on the ground uh, as she is. So it's, it's the idea of getting uh, as close as and as intimate with the woman as possible. I met him at the hospital after he was, uh, he was, his leg was amputated. Uh, and obviously, as you can see in the picture, uh, there's all this shrapnel uh, from the grenade, the mortar uh, that, that uh, fell while he was waiting f in line for food in, in, uh, in Mosul. And he, w he got wounded in an area where which had been liberated at, at that point. But uh, Daesh was still able to, to fire mortar rockets into the, to the area. Uh, and people were desperate for food, so they had no choice than to wait in the middle of the street for food, and that when, uh, was when the attack happened. Well, I mean, I met a lot of different uh, people at the hospital who were wounded, and, and a few of them I saw again later on. Uh, many of the ones that I met were, uh, were signed out of the hospital uh, very quickly because once they uh, were, uh, were stabili stabilized in terms of their injuries, they had to leave the hospital because there were so many wounded coming in, so they simply couldn't. I mean, they, they filled the hospital constantly, and there were four hospitals in this area who were all, I mean, they were all full constantly. These are the Iraqi forces uh, moving ahead, you know, in the offensi uh, offensive. This is taken right at the, the riverbed of Tigris before they started the second part of the offensive in the second part of the city. Uh, the place that they are looking through here, or searching through, is uh, what used to be a mortar factory for Daesh, uh, which had recently been liberated, but they still were looking for insurgents in the area. And uh, needless to say, there was a lot of uh, grenades, a lot of uh, gunpowder in the factory, so they had to be really careful. And at the same time, as I said, they had insurgents in the area constantly. So there were, every day there were uh, fights between Daesh who had hidden in the, in the different buildings in the area. And the fact that Daesh wanted to take this factory back. So there was constant fighting and every, everybody was alert all the time. We, we didn't know where they came from, but, uh, but there were many places in, in, the, in the area. So whether it has been uh, members of Daesh who had been wounded uh, putting their hands there, or if it had been people that Daesh brought in, we never know. We never found out. Well, uh, first of all, there's something very grotesque with the situation of him being blindfolded and then sitting on a couch like he is, being interrogated. For me, the most interesting part was to listen to his story. It was actually more interesting than, than the picture in itself, uh, because I really wanted to find out w who were these people. Uh, obviously, there were some of them who were, uh, were strong believers of the, Hulk, uh, of the Caliphate. Uh, others were foreign fighters. But there was also a lot of local civilians who joined uh, Daesh for, uh, for reasons which is more difficult to understand. Some of them just went with the, f with the flow because it was easier in, in a situation like this to be a part of Daesh. They would get uh, better access to many, many different things. Uh, they would have a certain, to a certain degree, uh, a power over the rest of the people. Uh, and in this case, uh, his wife left him because he joined Daesh. When she found out he was a, a member of Daesh or, or, or uh, went into to the organization, 
uh, she escaped one night during the night with the children and took them to Baghdad. So, so he told this story as well, which obviously gives a much more complex uh, storytelling about who were Daesh, because it was not just people who were strong believers of the caliphate or, or foreign fighters, it was also civilians just going with the flow, like we, we what we saw in Europe during the Second World War. There were Danes who joined the Nazi party just because during the occupation it was easier. This was exactly the same case. Well, I mean, I think it would be too easy just to say that all members of Daesh are bad. I mean, they, were, they are strong believers in their religion and in their faith. And, and as, I, as I told with this story, this guy was not, uh, not a 100% a bad guy. This guy was just someone who thought he did the right thing by joining. And obviously he did a lot of bad things and he was sentenced to death. He's probably dead now uh, for, for being a part of Daesh. And, and he, uh, he admitted to actually doing really, really bad stuff to civilians. Uh, but but the for me, the Im interesting part about his story is the reason why he joined. Uh, because that gives a much more complex idea about who were the people within the Islamic State. What is it that they want? And you still have uh, areas in, in Iraq and in Syria which are stronghold Daesh, uh, pl places like Talafar, which is historically a part of the Sunni stronghold Daesh, Daesh kind of community. Uh, people who live there are not, have not been uh, occupied by, by Islamic State. They believe in Islamic State.